Welcome to my fun Annie's cooking, where we learn to cook, cook to learn, and love to eat with Sally. It's your sister, Sesti, coming back with another recipe of a South African delicacy. <laughs> so unnecessary. <laughs> but Sally, do you forgive your sister? I have been soaking the Mapani worms for a period of two hours. I am going to scoop them out and place them in my sieve so I can run some tap water on them. And this is to make sure that there is no residue of any kind on our Mapani worms. We are now satisfied that the Mapani worms have been thoroughly rinsed. I am now doing the transfer and going to boil for a further 20 minutes. Our 10 minutes is almost up, but Sally, I am now going to fry my Mapani worms in a saucepan. And I didn't use oil, but I use butter. It works just as well. Okay, so yeti labo, sissia fryer, ama Mapani worms waito. I want our mapani worms to be fried on both sides, okay? So you may know you need to fry on up, huh? Or fry on all day. This side lately. This side lately, yeah. Already boiling on the side, but Sally is our water for the pup. So you're like, I'm a son, yeah, papa. We are going to one. One good, yeah, I give you one. One good, yeah. That's my already cut up green peppers, yes, and some garlic for flavor. Sifuna go be flavorful. We are mazu flavor. Siam funa la. La? Siam ding. So bear in mind, but Sally, Istovo is on high heat, okay? It is on high heat because we're wanting to create a. You not a soft Utamba boda. We're wanting to create a crispy crackling on the Mapani worms. Okay. I actually tasted one. Nyinga like pig. This is some good stuff. Why it's so Why bona summa is wallow? So Bashali, this is where the spicing game begins, okay? Your favorite spices, Bashali. You use your favorite spices, okay? We don't have to be using aromat when we like barbecue. Where is what? One good one, hey, kibua. I, in this case, use a whole lot of spices. I started with raja. Why bona raja? Yes, our favorite. The smell. Ooh, when? When? <laughs> so next in the queue is our paprika. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Next is our cayenne pepper. Why wanna chaba eel? Yes, that's our cayenne pepper. And we also have Mr. Coriander. Yeah. Guys, coriander is a spice to have. It always seems to balance out all the other spices somehow and add that extra tingle. Why is it about taste Oh yes, we haven't added our salt, so it's salt time. So 
So yes, let the spices get acquainted with one another. Eh, bazo kipa into mnandi. Why it's a man to mnandi? Why it's we are bazo mnandi? Yes, a combination of all. As the spices get acquainted with one another, I'm going to add some water with Sally. Okay, a bit of water so that the spices don't stick to the bottom of the pot. So bearing in mind the stove is still on high heat and last but not least I'm going to add just a spoonful okay, of some onion soup flavour. Alright, these are the last stages but Shelly, yes our flavours are coming along. The smell by the way is great, just so great. So now we're giving it time to simmer and I'm going to switch the stove on. Is one Utlamba board. I'm going to switch off the stove at this stage. Okay. That's how our Mapani worms are looking for now. And like I said, I've switched off the stove and hey. Wait a king. It is a party of flavours in here. Only if you are here to smell the chili. This looks brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Like I said, but Shelly, the Mapani comes with the pup. Let's dish up. Let us dish up. So cute. So so cute. So cute. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. The smell is wonderful. Wonderful. Is it wonderful? The smell is wonderful. We're going to try out our first time eating Mapani worms and having made them ourselves with some pup Sheba. We have arrived. We have arrived. Needless to say, these were delicious. They paired up very well with our pup. On that note, let me find something to drink. Oh, I caught our subscriber, Shelly.